What's up guys and welcome back to another lesson in the Nomad Shop class here on the School Zone. I don't really have any announcements so we're going to jump right into today's lesson. But do stick around until the end of the video because I have some bonus tips for you and a really cool experiment I'm going to do. So this video is actually a follow up on my deep dive into the wiring glitch video. I made a follow up to each of my deep dive videos because people brought up interesting things in the comments after the fact. This time a few people asked me about how I go about wiring up my settlements from scratch and if I use the pipe conduits. To be honest, the only time I use the pipe conduits is when there's an elevated build and I don't want the wires dangling below that you could see from ground level. That's why you might have seen some pipe conduits in my Vault 42 build. I tried to hide them really well, but they were there. But if I'm building on ground level, there's almost no need for pylons or pipe conduits if you know about the true wire glitch. Now you may have seen my recent video about solving the companions don't talk glitch. <laughs> In that video, I had to release the Minutemen from the Museum of Freedom that I had sort of quasi kept them captive there, and now they're over at Sanctuary. Now, I hadn't really done anything with Sanctuary yet because I was still trying to decide what I wanted to do with it, but I think I finally decided to make it into a massive hydroponic farm, and if it'll let me turn it into a vassal sediment for the Raiders Nuka World, then that will coincide nicely with finishing that DLC in my next trivia walkthrough. Since I'm basically starting from scratch in Sanctuary, I thought it'd be the perfect opportunity to show you how I perfectly wire up my settlement from the get-go. So, hop on the school bus and let's head over there for a field trip. Alright guys, we are over here at Sanctuary. Where's McCready? There he is right there. <laughs> a viewer named uh, Cyclone Dragon 6 suggested I put on the uh, Field Scribe helmet. So, I put it on myself, didn't look so good, so I put it on uh, McCready. And, uh, yeah, maybe makes him look like a welder. <laughs> okay, so um, what we're going to talk about here is how I wire my settlements from scratch and how to create invisible wiring across your entire settlement, okay? Here's what I did. I started off with a generator, and I'm only going to use one generator for the entire settlement, even though it's going to turn into a massive hydroponic farm, okay? Now, you can use any kind of generator that you want. The generator I chose to use was the uh, massive Vault-Tec generator. Let me show you the one I'm talking about here. This one all the way at the end, the Vault-Tec Super Reactor, okay? And the reason I did that was because, well, for two reasons. One, because if I start doing a lot of manufacturing at this place after I do the farms, then it'll be the perfect set to come and show you about manufacturing when we get to the double black diamond lessons. So might as well plan ahead, you know what I mean? The other reason I did it was just to be quirky because I put it inside this uh, geodesic dome here. Well, it is a geodesic dome, and then there's this little playground item here that looks like the same shape. So I just pillar glitched this whole thing into the ground, which I was going to do anyway, but uh, might as well make it into a, like a fun art project. You know what I mean? <laughs> looks pretty cool. And if I ever need to pull it out of the ground, then I can just sink an iron post in the ground like that, select all and pull it up out of the ground, okay? Now before I sunk it in the ground with the pillar glitch, I actually set up a secondary conduit, which was going to be the primary focal point for all of the wiring in my settlement. So this super reactor is actually only going to be wired to one single conduit. And then that single conduit is going to be wired to probably a hundred different things by the time I get finished with this settlement, okay? Now, you can put this reactor or any generator that you want anywhere within your settlement. But before you sink into the ground, you're gonna wanna set up that primary conduit, okay? And I decided to put mine way out of the way over here, just in a place that nobody would ever really see it. And I set it up down here. Now this conduit here, I'm eventually going to store this conduit. But the reason I have this conduit here is to make it easy to do the wiring glitch. All right. And eventually there's going to be like a little spider web of all these little wires that are sinking into the ground. Now, the reason this is so awesome is because if you know about the true wire glitch, then there's no reason to have any wires really seen anywhere within your settlement, you know? Oh, and by the way, <laughs> I haven't walked up to Preston yet. So therefore, he hasn't started in on me with all his quests and everything. I may have a second chance not to have him bother me after releasing him from the uh, Museum of Freedom. Just don't walk up and talk to him and then uh, he'll just sort of be an inconsequential NPC for the rest of your playthrough. So thought I'd point that out. Okay, so a couple of these wires that are going through here, you can see they're sinking to the ground, are heading over to these uh, missile turrets. 
So here's the first practical example of invisible wiring. All right, I sunk these missile turrets into these uh, stone columns here at the at the gates of sanctuary, so to speak. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I mean, they're these little stone columns are really squishy, so it's very easy to pillar glitch some missile turrets in there. And then uh, if you do the little invisible wiring trick, then you can just uh, snake the wires completely under this river and up to these things. If you end up having trouble and the wires show, then if you want to, you can add an extra conduit like I did here. So I added this extra one just because I'm a little bit OCD and uh, there was a tiny bit of a wire that was showing through here down to the road. So just to make it completely seamless and completely invisible, I added a little conduit here and then using the uh, true wire glitch, I hooked it up to the missile turret there. But it's going from the missile turret to this conduit and then over to that primary conduit and then over to the uh, super reactor. Same with that one right there. Okay, so that's the first practical example. What is that? Oh, it's a sunken mailbox. Let's scrap that. Okay. So the second uh, practical example I'd show you, if you see up at the uh, top there, the 500 power is coming from that super reactor, but do you see the 150 water? Where is that coming from? Obviously down in this river, you didn't see any water purifiers. I didn't have to clutter up my pretty river here. So where are they? Where is all that water coming from? Well, here's what I did. I created, oh, and I dragged this from some shack over there, over to here, to let people know not to go back here. But anyway, I placed these water pumps that can be sunk into dirt instead of water, and then I pillar glitched them a little farther into the ground, so they're very uh, unnoticeable from the street. So I have sort of a, a water farm going on back here. And as you can see, the wires are going from these water pumps into the ground and all the way over to that primary conduit, okay? And the reason I put them here is because the settlement boundaries sort of end right around here. And there's not really much anybody would really do with this space back here beyond these hedges. So, what is that? Picket fence post. <laughs> all these little pieces I didn't find before. Oh, and I set up this little guard post here. That's June Long, I think is his name. Oh, and by the way, if you guys ever have this problem where the spotlights turn off, an easy way to solve that problem is just to add a switch right in between your conduit, okay? So here's another practical example. This conduit is wired through the ground all the way over to that primary conduit from the super reactor and then up to a switch and then up to the spotlight. So if it ever goes out, like it does seem to do so frequently. And by the way, I used to think it would go out because your settlement size was too large, but it doesn't. I mean, I've barely even begun to build here. So there's no rhyme or reason to it. It just turns off, it's a glitch. But instead of, uh, you know, go into workshop mode, clicking on it and selecting it, which will work, you know, I don't want to do it because I'm going to show you the other trick, but just add a switch in between. And then you can just click it off and click it on and it'll start right back up again. So that's what I do with all my settlements. Sort of a little hack, a little work around that glitch. Okay, so the other thing I was going to show you was where the other ones are set up. I basically followed this border line along here and any place that there was a space that was unusable, like right here, I set three more up here, pillar glitched them into the ground and then wire glitched them. And there's a few more over here. It's another picket fence post. It's so weird how you can scrap some of them, but you can't scrap other ones. And uh, I think there's some more back here. Now, here they are. Yep, I set them up over here. So I'll probably, oh, and then there's, I think one or two more over here. Yeah, a few, a few of them over there. 
So uh, that's where I'm hiding all the water pumps, and they'll eventually generate enough water for all the raider settlements, and if there's any left over, I can sell it, you know? So, okay, so let me show you how this works in practicality. Um, we are going to go back over to that one picket fence that you probably saw floating in the air. Another one I don't understand. <laughs> Look at this one. I couldn't scrap it. This is crazy. I mean, it's almost like Bethesda sort of forces people into using mods, you know? Like, this is something I'd want to use a mod for just to get rid of it, you know? But I'm, I'm trying to be that purist, you know what I mean? So, anyway, but it's all good. It's all good, because we're going to make use of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a light here. And then a conduit. Right there. Okay, the lights just to show you that there's uh, power coming to that area. And then what I'm going to do is head over here, initiate the wire glitch by staring at the wire. You know, as long as you have the conduit behind the wire, it doesn't exactly matter where you click. You know, like right here, it would work. Hear that little spark? All right, so we're going to run over here. And attach it to this conduit. Bada bing. And there we go. We have light. So it is now going underground all the way over to that primary conduit. All right, isn't that just the coolest thing? All right. <laughs> I just think that's cool. I mean, a lot of people know about this, so it's not like I'm spreading some brand new wisdom, but it's just the coolest thing. I always get so impressed with that. So that is basically the essentials of how I wire up this settlement, all right? Now we're gonna do a really cool experiment in just a second. You're gonna wanna stick around for that, but I did wanna show you a bonus tip, another practical way that I use the wiring. All right, I set up a little soda fountain here. Because Mama Murphy looked bored, <laughs> so... Oh, and I hated him sitting on the ground all the time, so I just set up some couches. This is all just temporary until I build the place out, you know. But anyway, I set up a soda fountain and I assigned Mama Murphy to it. <laughs> Maybe it'll keep her off the chems. But see how it's flawlessly wired? You know, I mean, you, you don't see any wires here. Where are the wires? There's no wires. Well, the wires are going underground set up this fire barrel here just to cover up the conduit it's running from underground to that conduit and then from that conduit through the wall up to the back of the soda fountain okay see i love that i mean it's just perfectly seamless you just never see a single wire now if you're going for the settlements where there's lots of wires like if you're going for that you know raider look then have all the wires dangling everywhere you know but if you're going for the realistic look where people would naturally want to bury wires so they don't like electrocute themselves, then uh, that is the way to do it. Oh, and the bonus tip. Sorry about that. Okay, so have you noticed there are some items that you can scrap in Sanctuary without mods and some you can't? This hanging fluorescent lamp here is one of the items you can't scrap, but yet you can't turn it on either. It's really frustrating. So, here's what I did. I headed over to structures. You can use really any pillar you want. I just like using the, the posts. All right, I'm gonna set a post down. And then I'm gonna group select. All right, you see what I did here? There is a fluorescent lamp that I set up elsewhere you know, just right across the street under that garage, dragged it over here with the pillar glitch, and then pillar glitched it right into place. Now I got it perfect, so I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna cancel here, but I managed to line it up perfectly so that you can't even notice it. And it actually looks like the lamp itself is lit up and lights up this whole little garage area using an appliance or, you know, an asset that came with the building itself to organically create the illusion of light. So, thought that was pretty cool. I wanted to show you guys. Okay, so, here's the big question. How far exactly can you run a wire under your settlement? Is there a limit? 
is there something that would prevent you from running it completely across the entirety of your settlement? Is there a wiring length limit? Well, Sanctuary is a pretty big settlement, but there is a bigger settlement out there, and I believe that prize goes to Spectacle Island. So as a little class experiment, we're actually going to go on a field trip over to Spectacle Island and take that experiment up over there. All right, so I'll meet you guys over on Spectacle Island. <laughs> Okay, nice. We have night time. That'll allow us to uh, well, this is a pleasant change. show off I can hear myself thinking here. our lights a little more effectively to prove our experiment. So let's head over to one of these box cars. And I'm going to set up a generator. Let's put a generator in here. Okay, all we need really is just a tiny little generator. Okay, and then uh, we're gonna need a conduit in order to initiate the glitch. Interestingly enough, these big, ugly power conduits take more resources than the nice little tiny cleaner ones. Isn't that interesting? Okay, so all the more reason why I like these better. Okay, so we're gonna hook this up to the generator and then I'm going to fast forward all the way over to the other side of the island. We're gonna set up a little Klieg light or something. Okay, here we go. I could be wrong, but I think this little pier here is gonna be the complete diametric opposite side of Spectacle Island. Basically the farthest two points that you can reach. So I'm gonna go into workshop mode. Let's head down to lights and just use these construction lights, which I almost never use. But we'll set them up so that it's shining out towards the water if it works. And just to keep it clean, why don't we have a conduit right here. Hook the conduit up to the construction light. And then I'm gonna run back over to the other side. <laughs> Okay, we're back to this side. If this experiment works, then when I connect to the other side of the island, we should see that construction light light up. All right, so let's give it a go. Here we go, initiating the wire glitch. And then the reason I'm not just cutting in this out is because I don't want you guys to think I'm cheating or anything. So I'm just showing you the full traversal over to the other side of the island. Okay, here we go. Fingers crossed. And we have light. That is amazing. <laughs> so it is going from here to here, completely into the water and under the entire landmass of Spectacle Island, all the way over to the other side of it and making that connection through the true wire glitch. That is just stunning. So, I've heard other YouTubers in past videos say that there was a limit to uh, how far you could wire something, but it looks like that myth has been busted. <laughs> so, experiment confirmed. There is no limit to how far you can wire using the true wire glitch. The only limit is the green settlement boundaries, 
All right, so I hope this helped you guys out. Maybe enlightened you a little bit. Some of the advanced wiring techniques you can do with settlement building without mods. Hope you guys had some fun with me. Make sure you're subscribed for more awesome videos like this. And feel free to share the video around anyone else you think this might help. We'll see you guys back here soon for another fun video. In the meantime, happy building and class is missed. Thank you.